Hello, a new day, a new project, and this uh, external battery finally gave up. It's keeping uh, very low power. Okay, so this was a very cheap uh, battery. I bought it from a supermarket or something anyway. The point is that if I can reuse the electronic, I can make another battery because I have plenty of 18650 cells from laptop batteries. But you know something? I don't know how to open it up. It's looking like this is glued. And I don't want to punch the cell. Oh yeah. Here we go. Almost there. Okay. <laughs> yes, people. I can already feel the cell. It's pretty bumpy. It's wobbling. It's destroyed. This one say it's 6,000 milliamps. Hmm. I'm very doubt about. Yeah, it's double taped down there. Okay. But I can see that very easily. It's wobbling. Okay, so that's the electronic here. That's nice. I can use that to connect some new batteries to use it in a proper way. But for now, let's give a charging discharging test to this uh, element. Oh yeah, let me disconnect that. I'm going to use my um, Charson antimatter to have a couple of charging and discharging and to see if it's uh, something related to the battery or it's something related to the charger but I doubt I'm pretty sure the cell is gone look at this you can see it already nice okay I love this guy really really good strong and reliable charger really good uh, performances and I really recommend it and what's nice about uh, Charson antimatter is that we have even for lithium or lipo, lip to polymer, we have cycles. So um, let's see what we got here. So we have uh, cycles of charging and discharging with 1.5 amps. So I don't want to stress the battery too much. And let's run three cycles. Now I'm going up with charging and of course this is going to take a while and I'll be back at the end of the things. Yeah, starting. So let me have a first step and I'm going to use this very nice uh, instrument. And this is a low impedance meter or, and uh, a low resistance meter. Uh, I have uh, plenty of tutorial using this tool for uh, checking the lithium, lithium polymer elements. And what we are doing here now, we are measuring the internal resistance of the elements. First one, 369 volts with 60.4 milli ohms. 60.4, yes, it was 59. So I can consider 60 once again. 60 milli ohms and it was a capacity 1530 this is good this is pretty good one more let's see pretty charge 101 milli ohms no we are better 101 okay so it's almost the same old uh, numbers here I consider this okay. 95. Let me see this one. What? Look at this guy. Oh, come on. It really needs to have a really, really good electric um, contact here. We are talking about very low resistance. 74. And it was 65. It's okay. So this goes with this one. Good team. What about this one? 64, very good shape, goes there. 
that's a 56 here yes this is good what about this 131 no 150 uh, okay so this will be like second what about these guys these are newcomers okay 62 good 56 perfect these two are very good so let's say i already have a team of one two three four five six six of these will give me at least um, let's say if we count 1.5 amps for each of them this is 1000 1500 okay around 9 amps that should be around 9 times around 30 watts that's more than enough okay step number one it's done really nice interesting uh, measurement instrument do we have some activity here wow yeah this one is really gone i already have a charging discharging cycle with 200 milliamps so that one is gone that's for sure no doubt now let's see how can i put these things together hmm? yes there we go this is one and this will be on the top here perfect yes and you know something here i have some um, mosfet transistors and uh, i'll try to ease the thermal dissipation let's see because I already have this uh, piece of aluminium here well <laughs> way too big but we can fix that let's see yeah that should be perfect that should be fine mm -hmm. let me have two pieces of wire here already so blue will be plus white it's minus we also have kind of uh, charging elements here i mean leds we can see what's the charging status that's pretty okay plus or minus yep well i know it's ugly <laughs> but it's working so for now i will just have a piece of tape what we can do with these guys we put them all together like this or three by three anyway all of these elements are coming in in parallel or maybe like this like i said i have to be really careful those mosfets are very sensible and prone to get burned if i change the polarity well no so here we have the leds for the charging status okay maybe double tape improvisation is the mother of creation okay that should be enough and here we have the connections so this will be plus yes and this will be minus no current anything i'm so disappointed okay let's see if it's charging so oh yes yes it's charging okay we are good to go perfect but maybe it's not enough uh, charging because the elements they've been depleted badly so yes it's very possible to have under voltage let me see k weights st601 600 y sorry 3.6 3.63 okay well no i think we have the opportunity to check the charging current so i have the charging uh, here it's running with uh, two amps let's check this out 
2.1 4 amps nice I think I have a working battery for now I'm just gonna put it to charge everything is fine here the connection is good yeah the internal resistance it's uh, 12 milli ohms a pretty good uh, capacity of course they need a little bit of uh, air to cool down but it's okay for now it's not so much uh, tape anyway and let's go and charge it look here people we are done with the charging cycles or testing the old lithium polymer uh, element or cell what we got here 152 milliamps so it's so gone 243 21 100 and okay i don't even bother with uh, working this anymore this one it's gone of course it goes to recycle bin don't throw it in the in the garbage never throw any kind of elements you know batteries or lithium lithium polymer cells or something don't throw them in the garbage it's really dangerous for the environment thank you for now just another how can i say crazy experiment but it's a working device see you soon with some other stuff and uh, please like please subscribe and uh, don't forget to have fun bye bye <laughs>